Okay, hey again everybody. Uh, another saber ready. It's it's almost my summer vacation, but I I got this I got this saber. Uh, this this project's wrapped up before this. It's been a bit uh, busy year this this so far, and I've been a little bit foolish trying to work on 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 multiple projects at the same time, which means that uh, none of them hasn't been progressing uh terribly fast uh, so but i'm i'm getting this done slow pass uh, a little a bit by bit uh, slowly but steadily and here's uh, one one uh, youngling saber uh, as you can see the uh, hilt has been influenced by the by the episode 2 uh training saber the younglings younglings are uh using uh, it has a machined aluminum aluminum hilt and uh, these and these small small accents here Patterns here they are salt water etched, and and uh, this radiator radiator part is actually 3D printed, uh, 3D printed nylon. It's it's a uh, uh, nylon with uh, metal aluminum flakes. Uh, so the the uh, the print shop calls it alumide. It's 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 not bad material, but it looks quite a bit, quite a bit different to actual actual aluminum. So I, I painted it with a uh, with a matte black matte black enamel uh, hobby paint. Uh, it's it's very it's very compact hilt, as you can see here's a, here's a size comparison uh, against uh, one replicas made uh, Luke episode six six hilt. So you can see that the training saber is, is a lot a lot uh, smaller, shorter. It's also slimmer. Uh, the main body has a 32 millimeter uh, outer diameter at at the thickest point. It's very sleek, sleek and slender, and, and very comfortable to hold, even with smaller hands. And um, uh, electronically, there's nothing, nothing spectacular inside. There's a Master Replicas uh, Force FX, Force FX Yoda soundboard that is small enough to fit here, and, and a single, a single lithium battery, 3.7 volts, and the, and the hilt breaks in two, from the middle. Opening access to battery compartment. There's also the uh, cutoff switch for the for the speaker speaker here. So if the if the saber needs to be operated as a as a soundless stunt, it it can be done by just toggling the speaker off um, from the switch. Uh, blade has a, a green uh, Cree XPE LED. And, and it's using a proprietary three degree lens, which which shoots a very narrow beam, so it, it fills this this slim slim blade tube very very nicely. Blade tube is uh, actually a recycled from it's also recycled from uh, uh, Yoda Force FX soundboard uh, Force FX saber. Uh, it's it's been heavily heavily modified. There's cellophane cellophane inside, a couple of sheets, and the and the exterior has been has been sanded. Sand it with a, with a medium grit paper. Uh, it gives a, a little bit more extra diffusion. And here's the here's the activation switch. Let's let's give it a let's give it a go. There, the blade is very nice and bright, as you could expect from a Cree. It has a regular regular force effect sound effects. And as you could expect, the sound sounds are not terribly volume from a, a small hilt like this. The speaker is is one of those uh, 20 millimeter uh, small 20 millimeter ones from uh, the custom saber shop. But but the small small hilt doesn't have enough resonance resonance for for a li re really loud loud sound effects. But I'm guessing that with the with the youngling saber, it's not all bad thing to have, <laughs> to not not have the noisiest saber, noisiest sounds, sounds ever. And give it again and another go. But the blade is very bright and, and it's it's a very slender and compact saber, so I'm expecting this this might make make a make a youngling youngling age kid very very happy, very happy. So there you go. So, you all have a nice summer. I'll catch you, catch you later again. Thanks. Bye.